Cavalier Coke Machine friends. Uh, if you saw my first video, you know this is a 1972 C96. And uh, after 48 years, the compressor finally died. And I'm sad to say that the machine went hot this past fall. So this little video is going to be about my project to replace the chiller unit and to bring this old girl back into operation. So I hope you enjoy it. This was the original compressor unit from uh, Cavalier of Chattanooga, Tennessee, and it was heavy. The tray's out to make more space, so it's easily go in and out. And there's uh, there were a few fasteners, uh, two in the back and two in the front. Uh, even after 50 years, I was able to get those out without too much trouble. All the power for the Coke machine comes through this common junction box. Uh, and what you have is you have 110 coming in from the compressor unit and all the power for the lights and the solenoids, etc., come off of that. It was very well labeled, very easy. I uh, used the existing wire because the one that came with uh, the unit was a little bit too short. After doing a little research, I found this company in Florida called Vintage Cola. Vintage Cola makes uh, new slide-in replacement uh, chiller units for these uh, vintage uh, Coke machines. And so this Cavalier unit was replaced with a brand new one. Our cords here, and you can see this is the, this is the power that goes to the uh, Coke machine itself. So these will be stripped back, and these will be mated up to here, and that goes into that common junction box see that the uh, the new vintage cola unit was nicely packaged and it was oriented so it was ready to go into the unit uh, of course if you'll take a look at the picture you'll realize that I originally put the compressor in backwards so uh, I had to quick pull it back out reorient it but uh, that's what you do so once I got the compressor oriented correctly then it was just a matter of taking the slack out of the coolant lines and shaping them to fit the, the installation of the compressor. So a couple steps remained. I put uh, a sheet metal screw on each side of the evaporator and mounted that into the, into the cooler. There was a four feet that, that kept it off the bottom. Uh, then I mounted a little bracket up on the top for the uh, thermostat. And once the thermostat was mounted, it was just a matter of kind of cleaning up and putting the cables in place and putting a little protective shielding uh, shroud between the bottom and the top of the cook machine. Well, the moment of truth is here. I just plugged in my uh, newly refurbished Cavalier and the chiller unit blowing cold air. It's quiet. Got a few beers and uh, orange sodas in there for the kids. All the power looks like it's working. Success.